Hey guys, it's your girl Cam and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, then welcome and I really hope that you join the Cam fam by clicking that little red subscribe button down there. <laughs> And I'm going to have a lot of really awesome surprises coming up for my subscribers that you don't want to miss. Um, I really want to give you guys a hint, but I don't want to give it away. <laughs> so definitely stay tuned for that. So today I'm working with this absolute gem of a palette, the Morphe 39S palette again. And last time I did a kind of more cool toned and enchanted looking eye look with this palette. So if you want to check out that look plus my review of the palette overall, I'm going to link that video for you up here. But I also really wanted to use the other half of the palette which is a lot of warm tones. And also I wanted to show kind of a different look because I've been doing a lot of half cut creases lately. And I even did a like tutorial all about how to do one which I'm going to link for you up here as well. But today I wanted to show a variation on that and so this look that you see right here is a winged half cut crease. And if you can do a half cut crease it's very easy to do. It's really not as hard to do as a full cut crease so you should be good to go. Also, we are in the midst of my How To Makeup series and I'll just link that playlist for you up here in case you just want to brush up on different parts of your makeup routine. Alright, well if you like this look, then I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button down below for me and let's just get right into this eye look. So as you can see, I already did the rest of my face and I did put tape on the sides just because I want to be able to peel it off and get that nice crisp line and you can actually do this over makeup. You may have to touch up some concealer or highlight sometimes, but I generally don't have too much of an issue putting tape on over the makeup. So first things first, I'm going to go into the shade Super Swanky and I'm picking this up with my Sigma E40 and using this as the transition shade. So this color is actually a very nice neutral that they included in this palette and it's just going to help us blend everything out. And again, because we're doing a half cut crease, I'm trying to bring everything into the inner corner as well. If you're hearing noise in the background, that's just my dog like digging in the bed to make himself more comfortable. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go into the color Flaunt, and I'm picking this up on my Sigma E25 brush, and I'm just going to start placing this in the crease. So I actually feel like this color is a little bit of a shimmer color, but that's fine. When I practiced this look before, I had no issues blending this in the crease, and to be honest, it's a very, very warm color. It's like the warmest one in the palette. so. That's why I definitely wanted to make sure to incorporate this one to really add that warmth that I'm looking for. And then in this outer corner, I'm trying to wing it up. Now I'm just picking a little bit of Super Swanky on my E40 and using that to blend out these edges. Next I'm going into the color Wine Knot and with the same E25 brush I'm just going to use this to deepen up this outer corner and the crease. Then I'm going back into the color Flaunt It to help blend this out. So once that's done, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I'm going to be doing a half cut crease. Now, as opposed to a lot of the other half cut creases that I've been doing recently, I am going to make this one winged and I will show you how to do that in this video because it's just another variation and just, you know, another way that you can play with that particular eye makeup shape. So I'll be doing a wing on top and then bringing it in. So now that I've got the inner half filled in, I'm basically going to take where it ended and extend it. And you just want to do a little flick on the end like so. And 
then you want to fill it in on a gradient going back towards the inner corner. Now I'm going into the color blank thing and I'm just gonna set that concealer with it. Now once I have that base set, I'm going to go into the color You Fancy with the same brush and I'm going to start blending that into the outer corner. And I'm bringing this quite in right here by the lash line to really create that wing. Next, I'm going to go into the color Catch the Light. And again, after wiping that brush off really, really well, I'm going to start going over where I put the color bling thing. And this is just really going to help brighten up the whole look and make it pop. And again, I'm going to use this color to redraw out that wing a little bit. Then I'm taking my Sigma E45 and going back into the color Wine Knot and just deepening up that outer corner and dragging it in a little bit. Then I'm just dipping my pencil brush into Wine Knot and really helping to carve out the cut crease. Then I'm going into the color show off. And I'm really just doing this to really make the look pop. You can totally stop here, but this will just add a little something extra. So using my tiny Sigma E65 brush, I'm going to actually dip it into the glitter. Make sure it's nice and flat against my hand. And I'm basically going to use the glitter to carve out this crease. Alright, so now I'm going to peel the tape off. And now I'm just going to work on the lower lash line. So I'm dipping my pencil brush into the color Flaunt It. And I'm just drawing this along the lower lash line. Then I'm taking the color Garnet Glam. And with my Morphe M165, I'm just going to brush this along the lower lash line. Then for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm using Perlfection. And I'm just picking it up with my Sigma E47 and popping a little bit in the inner corner and on the brow bone. Then I'm really going to intensify the inner corner with Catch the Light. Then I'm just going to take my finger and pick up a little bit of the color Catch the Light and just use that to intensify my highlight. Alright, so now I'm just going to put some liner and lashes on off camera and I will be right back to show you the finished look. Alright, so I just went ahead and applied the Kiss Lashes in Midnight and I also just popped some black in my lower waterline and so here's the completed look. we're done I hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you did then once again please hit that like button down below for me and if you haven't already then please also hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos especially because some of them will be a little time sensitive 
Alrighty, well that's it for today, but here's a couple more videos by me that you can check out. And then if you haven't already, click on my face right here to subscribe to my channel. That's it, darlings. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you next time.